Anybody here with us tonight? Anybody ever hear of General Stonewall Jackson? I'm Babs Melton. I'm the director of Hubs Hill Battlefield Park, um, which includes the Stonewall Jackson Museum and Crystal Cavern. We took part in nine battles during the Civil War, Jackson's six battles of the 1862 Valley Campaign. We had our own little battle here, the Battle of Hubs Hill. Fire. In just a matter of 15 or so minutes, there were 310 casualties. My own personal belief is that if somebody dies suddenly and violently, their, their spirit's kind of ripped out of their body and sometimes they don't even know that they're dead. For a while, a lot of people were seeing things in my cave that I didn't see. And they were spotting Civil War soldiers sitting on rocks and caves, and they were hearing military band music playing in the cave, and, and I was blissfully ignorant of all that. Until, well, you look at them, and there's two of them. And you look again, and there's three. Word got around town that uh, there were interesting things happening at Hubs Hill. The candlestick flew four feet and then dropped. Then the table turned over. Then, the, and my friend is like, ah! The tape recorder kept turning on and off. She came out screaming like a banshee. At the end of the Haunted Cave tour, I had a little staff huddled in a little group so uh, we actually had to get a support group. Now, when I hire people, I ask them how they feel about ghosts. I don't remember how I met Carl. It was all cold in a thin line right across this section right here. Nowhere else you learn to get accustomed to, so it's not <laughs> the sense of fear, it's the sense of the unknown. A lot of it is, I think, being experienced. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, the way we look at it is, we're supposed to be here till dark, and at dark, they want the place, and it's time for us to go home. That's what you want to call an orb. And when she called me that night, she was actually scared to death. I was hoping for a lot more, like, Carl would, like, get pushed down the stairs or something. <laughs> These caves are awesome. Man! <laughs> I get fat just hearing it all over again. <laughs> we're setting up the camera, oh, oh. and while we're setting it up before I hit record, an orb flies right through the fucking video. When the flash went off, in plain sight, without the camera, she could see the face of a little girl or What would be the ultimate thrill for you? See a full body apparition. I've seen them with my own eyes a couple of times. And he looked back at me and smiled. Closed up his hand, and I could see a little M&M &M hanging out of the bottom of his hand. Shot up into that corner, and just dispersed. From the waist down, it looked like it was a fog, but it looked like the dripping fog, like the mist that drips off you see in the horror movies. There was one guy in our support group that said that a ghost actually asked him if he was a ghost. I smell alcohol and tobacco a couple times, but I didn't know the Civil War soldier was here for months. He didn't tell me that he had said I brought one. I did not realize that if you just invited him home with you, they came home. Does he do, the, do this often? Yes, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> what? Bring things home. I fear the living. I fear the living more than the dead because what the doctors say is I shouldn't even be alive right now. Wow. So... That's another reason why I like doing the ghost hunting is because I'm not gonna live much longer. You don't have to be afraid. Come on up here by the fire pit, talk to us for a little bit. 